What's up guys, this is RG giving you another High Definition Broadcast. As you can see, we're back here on Unison League, and we are doing a little bit of a different um, web capture, actually. Um, this is a after-the-fact um, capture. I usually do, like, live, excuse me, live video, but um, this is an after-the-fact video uh, because it is hard to do a live GVG so um, people were asking me to go GVG uh, casting more GVGs of me uh, climbing up the ladder currently at uh, position number 43 in uh, block B trying to go for top 10 um, in the uh, unison league ladder but um, yeah so right now we're going uh, versus uh, a clan I think they're called war or something sorry hold on one second they are called War Team. So basically, uh, what you are looking at is the couple seconds right before uh, we battle, and I'm calling out targets. Um, depending on uh, the defense and magic defense, the the uh, low defense targets the lancers are going to target, and the uh, low magic defense the the archers are going to target. So you're going to see people go down in that fashion, and we do do a split DPS here. So as you can see right here, this, the DPS split is, is starting to go down really quickly because their defenses are not adequate for uh, this high level of GVG to be completely honest um, you guys can check out um, the guild and how their defenses are and what um, why I took that. Now I'm just hovering over Taro as you can see I'm on the bench ready to go with a Meteor. At this point um, we're, we're saying save cost uh, Quick is saying save cost uh, however, I think that it's uh, better to just actually kill them now. So I pop my meteor and uh, my exile procs, and pretty much he gets uh, obliterated. Because even his magic damage down, it just it, you know it just obliterated him. And uh, I think Yumi attacked with me, so that's that helped it out too. I'm switching it back out right now because Taro has a high amount of unison and. Uh, I do have a lot of cost there, but his unison is more important to get up right now than me getting some damage on the crystal, which he can actually do as well. So it's very important to kind of have that mindset of the most important part is having uh, unison and being able to have your team get up there uh, uh, in terms of uh, having all that that uh, the unison gauge all the way up, their HP up, and uh, getting damage on the crystal. So very important. Uh, right now I'm telling Taro that he needs to do uni fast because if you actually do your unison before the attack gets on top of you, uh, you can avoid all of the damage. And uh, you'll see on the bottom of the screen, uh, high circle snipe, uh, the physical testament actually proc, but um, Taro was able to get into the unison before the actual damage went onto him. And I believe he got reflected onto uh, as well because I think Taro's uh, reflect proc. So, uh, we did do a 3 Alice 2 Fire Valkyrie, which is probably the best uh, meta right now in terms of uh, being able to. Um, sorry, I got a phone call. Being able to do good damage to all the Alice's, um, because if you have all Alice versus a 2 Fire, uh, all Alice, the 2 Fire all Alice is going to win. Um, or you can also do like an all Fire one too. But, uh,. That's actually a really good unison we did. We have all, all eight buffs uh, up right now, and I'm telling people to swap me if they uh, have no cost, as I have a lot of cost right now. I've been sitting on the bench, uh, but it looks like we're gonna take it down right here. So um, I'm like just chilling and let them take it down. So um, that's pretty much a pretty flawless run uh, on um, on how it goes for a GVG high level. Um, so you kind of want to shoot for that. Uh, we did get a good amount of procs in the very beginning, so that kind of helped us out. Um, but like as you can see, I switched in like almost instantly for Taro. So if they had like three people switch in, I would be ready with a bunch of like photons, uh, meteors, and I would be able to share up um, as well if they needed me in there for a, a long period. So uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm showing you like uh, their ranking is 71, so they are top 100. Uh, the other guilds we face today uh, are also top 100. I believe Notorious is like 42, 45. So uh, their score is 30, 42, their rank is 45, their top uh, 50, uh, and we beat those guys. Uh, we also fought uh, Bail Bailnorn, and they're top uh, 50 as well. They're 47. 
So uh, we were able to defeat a good amount of guilds in this uh, run, and I will be uh, giving you guys more videos on GVG. So look out for those. Um, so yeah, just just making sure that uh, you're targeting the right people is is um, good because you see this guy has defense and magic defense over 25k, then um, you don't really want to target him. Uh, this healer has less than 25k. Uh, it's actually one of my uh, friends. And I don't know if that's a fake gear score because there's a Kaspasa there, so, you know, um, but that could actually trick you as well. So people could put fake gear scores up there for you to look at. But um, it's always a good idea, uh, the rule of thumb, to have your uh, high uh, physical damage, which is your Lancers, attack the lower defensive targets. And then say something like your Archers or your Mages, attack the lower um, magic defense targets. You don't want to put all your, tar uh, your characters on one target because if his stuff procs, uh, and then the healer is healing him up um, on that one target, a lot of your DPS is going to be wasted. So splitting targets is a good idea in high level GVG, just something to think about. Alright guys, uh, that's probably going to be it for this one. Uh, definitely uh, tell me if you liked the video, give me a like. Uh, also if you could subscribe and comment, that'd be great. And check out my channel, there's going to be a lot more new content coming out for you, just for you guys. Uh, so um, definitely put that comment below if you want to see something specific. And I'll get to you as soon as possible. Um, I think that's about it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching, and take it easy. Peace.